Hello guys, I want to share with you a little experience I had recently and a piece of advice that goes alongside that. The piece of advice is don't go onto autopilot. It's so easy to do if you're a web designer. You work on site after site, on section after section, and you tend to reuse things. So we've done endless error messages, forms, navigation. We know how to do these things, or at least we think we do, and we just reproduce them from site after site after site, even though every site is different, even though actually we probably should be tweaking these things, changing them, depending on the site we're working on. A great example of that is something that happened to me recently. I went to book a bed and breakfast in Winchester and had to obviously fill in my details, my name, my address, and the country that I lived in. And I was confronted with a country picker. Now, country pickers normally are done as drop-down menus, and this site was no exception. They'd obviously just taken a standard drop-down menu of countries and added it into this site. But actually, that made very little sense for this site. First of all, they didn't need a drop-down menu at all. Drop-down menus are fiddly to use, um, and they've been proved time and time again to be a bit of a usability hurdle. All they needed was a text field. They weren't gonna be doing anything fancy where they were taking the list and segmenting it and sending out email campaigns, so they didn't need a structured list like a drop-down menu. But let's set that aside for a little while. What's more significant is that this list included every country under the sun. And this was for a and b in Winchester. The chances of them getting someone visit from Iraq or Afghanistan or China was very, very slim. So why were those countries included in the list? It just made a massively long list that took forever to scroll through. The reason all of these names were in there, because they copied and pasted from another site. They hadn't considered the unique case of this particular site. And then I faced another challenge. The vast majority of people booking that bed and breakfast in Winchester, like me, came from the United Kingdom. But finding the United Kingdom in drop-down lists of um, countries is notoriously difficult because the United Kingdom isn't always called the United Kingdom in these lists. Sometimes it's called England. Sometimes it's called Britain. Sometimes it's called Great Britain. So finding the right entry in a list like that is a pain in the neck. You have to scroll through every single name looking at the different options. Now, I went through this list twice and I couldn't find the United Kingdom. I looked under England, Britain, Great Britain, it wasn't there. It turns out that the web designer who used this list realized that most people were from the United Kingdom, realized that the list was difficult to use, and so it moved the United Kingdom to the top of the list. Unfortunately, it was an alphabetical list other than that, and so it was easy to miss the fact the United Kingdom was at the top. He could have fixed the problem properly, but he did a quick solution. And it's a shame because actually this would have been really easy to fix. As I said, they could have an open text box or they could have had some radio buttons of the, the main options like Britain, France, or whatever the top ones were, and then a text box for the rest. They could have also used one of the many jQuery solutions are out there, and some of them are very, very sophisticated. For example, I came across one recently where if you type in England, it recognizes that actually it doesn't have England in the list, but it does have United Kingdom. They could have done something so much better if they just spent a moment to think about it, rather than copying and pasting. And that's the moral of the story, really. That's what I want to get across in this video, is to take a moment. When we're doing those things that we do time and time again on a website, like forms, like error messages, like navigation, to take a moment to think, am I doing it in the best way for the use case that I'm working on? Or could I do things differently? It's a simple thing. It only takes a few seconds, but it can make the difference between a frustrating user experience and a good one. 